the first Chinese emperor ordered his subject to seek the elixir of life in search of immortality. In the 16th century, in France, nobles drank gold, seeking to extend their lives. In 2015, a woman from MTV's True Life, I am obsessed with being young, drenched herself in the blood of a pig. In 2019, the search for eternal life is done in many ways, which was mostly scientific. Funded by Silicon Valley elites, researchers believe they are closer than ever to tune the human body so that we can finally live forever, even if some are worried about the pseudoscience in this sector. Many billionaires have invested in research to ensure that people remain fit and be in good shape as they age. Google's founders Sergey Brin and Larry Page have invested millions in Salico, a secret healthcare company that seeks to solve death. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and billionaire Peter Thiel advocate for Unity Biotechnology which hopes to tackle the effect of aging. The idea of immortality may sound like something from a sci-fi movie, but the actual experimental methods are far away from the brain in the box, the human body in the freezer, or the heart wired to a machine. Sera Sciences is another company seeking to deceive death. The basis in the treatment is to lend in telomeres. These are the caps at the end of each DNA strand. Telomeres get shorter in size every time a cell copies itself. Since our cells multiply throughout our lives, over time telomeres become very short and our cells cannot regenerate, hence we age. If you can return the telomeres to the normal state in which they were when you were born, this can lessen your biological age to 25 years. Yes, you can convert into a child as you stop where maturity begins and ends. Among the competitors of Sierra Sciences, the BioViva, whose CEO Elizabeth Parrish is so dedicated that she became the part of the research and was the first human to undergo telomere therapy in 2015. In her 2018 study, she claimed that her telomere measurements showed that she had grown up younger and about 30 years after she received treatment, her body began to age again. Some claim that they can put a stop to aging in animals. George Church, founder of Regenerate Bio and a hardware professor, uses gene therapy to pause his anti-aging commands through DNA. According to Church, he managed to double the life expectancy of mice and according to Secret Company, his next testing is on a dog. Living at the age of 500 would be amazing, but only for the rich. If and when these technologies will exist in the market, they will likely be surprisingly expensive. Demand could eventually reduce costs, but in the meantime, non billionaire people would see a lot of deaths. However, immortality will cause too many other problems. Like where do the children of these 100-year-old live? Until a healthy life is ensured and conservation technology is available, immortality enthusiasts are also obsessed with the idea of maintaining health. Some fast on certain days, other monitor calories and most exercise. Thus, they exist long enough to benefit from the new anti-aging science. The goal, as many in the community of physical immortality say, is to live long enough to live forever. Hello guys, the ebook for the month of December is available on our website. Get an exclusive discount of 30%. Use the code CFA30.